morning, sir. What are you doing? Are you flat catting? Now I see people joining. Here's Mr. Flat Cat. Good morning, everybody. It's Brittany at Big Cat Rescue in Tampa, Florida. <laughs> and I am here with Jinx, <laughs> Black Leopard, your silly guy. Good morning, Sunday. Good morning, Deb and Noir. Hi, Kimmy. Was that very fun? Very fun to rush at me. Good morning, Barbara. Good morning, everybody. Again, this is Jinx, a black leopard at Big Cat Rescue in Tampa, Florida. Figured we needed some Jinx time this morning. <laughs> oh, get that ball. Get that ball. Jinx is a 20 year old male black leopard. Was that fun? You get that ball. You get that ball. Silly. Hi, Melanie. Good morning, Sean. Angie, I'm using the same phone I have been using since day one. It is always about cell reception out here. Yeah. And what's funny is when I started this live feed up, it actually told me I didn't have a connection at all. So that's interesting that the picture looks good. I'm happy. <laughs> Thank you so much for the donation. He is beautiful. Absolutely stunning. He's intense. He's playful. He's a goofball. He's also very scary. <laughs> Did you get it? Did you get all of it? You do need to do some mowing in here, sir. You do need to do some mowing in here. Thank you so much for sharing this feed. guys share these feeds and the photos and our posts that's how you get that top fan badge it's also how we help reach new people that might not know about us or our cats <clears throat> good morning Katie Alicia he's been with us for a little over four years but unfortunately he was part of a legal battle between the state of Ohio and his previous owner and so he was part of our witness protection program for quite a while. Him along with uh, three tigers. And it was only a handful of months ago that we were able to finally start sharing them. So he's such a goofball. <laughs> he is beautiful. A lot of people think that he is a panther, but there's no such thing as a black panther. They're either black leopards or black jaguars. He is a leopard. If you get him in the right light, he's actually a chocolatey brown, sort of reddish color, and you can actually see his leopard spots. Good morning, Karen. Oh yeah, pretty much any time I post Jinx, it breaks the internet. He's absolutely magnificent. really going to town on this grass, sir. <laughs> so silly. You were so silly. <laughs> Good morning, Cynthia. If you guys are just joining in, we actually just got started. We've just been here with Jinx. He's about impossible to walk away from. He's so handsome. Super handsome. And sort of see some of his silvery spots there, especially on his chest. Good morning, Val. 
Well, Amanda, you can kind of see he's not actually eating grass. He's just ripping it out of the ground. Um, but yes, I've heard that they will do that if they have an upset stomach or, um, but they also just like it. I mean, pet stores sell it for domestic cats. You can grow your own um, grass for them to kind of nibble on and chew on. Uh, Karen, you're only seeing the amount of space that my iPhone 10 can show you. He's actually got a very large enclosure. It goes all the way back to the fence line there. There's a tunnel that leads him into that whole section. Then there's another big section and another big section and it goes all the way back. But if you want me to walk around an empty cage and show you, I can do that. Otherwise we stick right here with the cat, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> and you can learn all about how our enclosures here at Big Cat Rescue are built if you go to bigcatrescue.org slash cages. <laughs> he is. He's, he's decided that it makes a lot of sense why landscapers get up and start landscaping at 7 a.m. in Florida. It's the cooler part of the day. Now you can see his nice leopard spots. Thank you guys so much for the hearts. I'm, I wish he could see how many of you love him. I think he knows, us keepers, make sure he knows he's loved. Good morning, Emily, hey, Amy. <laughs> you are such a goofball. You're such a goofball. He is a 20-year-old male black leopard for those of you just joining. Thank you so much, Molly, for your donation. Yeah, each bubble section of their enclosures are between 12 and 1,800 square feet, and then they have multiple enclosures. <laughs> Why don't you go back to your red ball? That was fun. Go back to the red ball. Hey, Jessica. Chris, he is handsome and goofy and silly. <clears throat> you can learn all about him if you go to bigcatrescue.org slash jinx. <laughs> oh, we might be going back to the ball. Or just back to the shorter grass. Thank you to everybody answering questions for any of our newcomers. If you are new to us and you've never watched a live feed for Big Cat Rescue, you should definitely set up your notifications um, so you're notified when we go live. We do it quite often and we encourage your questions. Um, there's a lot of people in the comments that are our regulars and they're moderators for our group and they can always help answer what you are seeing for you. A lot of people jump to conclusions about what they're seeing. I'd rather you ask questions. <laughs> so again, Jinx here is a black leopard. There's no such thing as a black panther. They're either leopards or jaguars. And what causes that black coat is a trait called melanism. So he's a melanistic black leopard. Those are naturally occurring in the wild. Whereas leucism is what creates white coats, like the white tiger, and that is man-made. That is not naturally occurring in nature. And if you are new to us, again, this is Big Cat Rescue in Tampa, Florida. We are an accredited sanctuary. We're accredited by the Global Federation of Animal Sanctuaries. Isn't that right? And we are held to a very high standard. We're a, a true sanctuary. We don't do any buying, selling, trading, breeding, or touching here. Thank you, Jennifer, for your donation. Oh, did you get something in there? Probably a lizard. There's probably a lizard in there. Hey, Natalie. Good morning to you. He loves his grass, and like I said, he doesn't eat it. He just likes the, I guess, the process of ripping it out of the ground. <laughs> 
Yeah, if you support um, groups that breed or touch or go in with their cats, um, those are not true sanctuaries. And if you breed a cat in captivity, it can nev never go free, so it's not exactly helping conservation in the wild. In fact, there's quite a bit of evidence that breeding cats in captivity actually hurts them in the wild. If people that are donating to those causes would donate to actual conservation efforts in the wild, we'd be a little better off. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you are killing me, sir. Oh, well, exactly. I know. Yeah, you should never, ever, ever pay a place to pet or touch or go in with these exotic animals. It's disrespectful. These guys would never allow you to touch them in the wild. So trapping them in cages to <clears throat> wish, you know, to push your wishes upon them, we just find that very disrespectful. Trish, no. Again, if any of these cats were ever bred and raised by humans, they can never go free. That's why we say you shouldn't really support places that breed in captivity and allow you to touch them. They can't go free because they, well, first of all, he's not native to here. <laughs> he was born and bred in the U.S. He should be in India or uh, Africa. Especially, you know, all these pay-to-play tiger cub schemes and petting lion cubs. They're not native to here, so you can't breed them here, raise them here, and then think you're ever going to set them free. Do big cats purr like domestic cats? That's a great question. We have an awesome video about that on our YouTube channel, bigcattv.com. And cougars and smaller, so not jinx here. Jinx is a leopard. But cougars and smaller, they can purr. They also hiss and they kind of make meow sounds, all kinds of different vocalizations. Um, but for a leopard or a jaguar like Jinx and Manny, who I haven't shown yet, but I was thinking about walking over to him next, um, they are, have more of a roar. It's more of a sawing noise. We call it a saw because it almost sounds like a chainsaw starting up. And then you get even bigger, like the tigers, and it's just straight up roars. <laughs> Trish, we do still have, um, it's a quarterly magazine called the Big Cat Times, and you can sign up for that or you can get a digital version of that if you go to um, bigcatrescue.org slash big hyphen cat hyphen times. <laughs> Somebody wants to post that link, that would be excellent. So we really try to make it a mission here to help people understand that these cats don't belong in cages, they don't belong in captivity, we shouldn't be breeding them and exploiting them in captivity the way that especially the U.S. does, but it's a worldwide problem. fact, yesterday our Big Cat Public Safety Act bill was introduced to the Senate. So now it's time for you guys to make the call of the wild and contact your senators. We need co-sponsors. So you can do that at bigcatact.com. We do have a federal bill introduced and we're really, really hoping to get it passed this year. Watching from Uganda, wonderful, welcome. Yeah, the Big Cat Times um, magazine really is wonderful. And you can get a digital version or you can get a printed version sent to you. So now that he's sort of like, eh, I'm not even gonna look at you, let's go see, well, first of all, let's go see Sundari. Sundari's next door. So you'll see a golden leopard next. That was Jinx, a black leopard. Manny's usually a one-track mind at this point in the morning. All he's waiting on is breakfast, so he'll look right through ya. <laughs> this is Sundari. 
Hi, pretty lady. Hi. Sundari is in her early 20s. Jinx is around 20 years old. Hi, babe. Look how beautiful her eyes are. Patiently waiting on breakfast. We feed every morning here between 8 and 9 a.m. at Big Cat Rescue. You stay up there. Don't get goofy on me. Come down very slow. I feel like I see some hostility happening in these comments. I always try to encourage that everybody be kind and patient with each other. And if people can't be rational, just ignore them. We do these live videos so that you guys can get up close and personal with the cats, especially those that probably can't ever come here in person. We are open to the public for guided educational tours. Oh, where are you going? But there's a lot of people in other countries that may never get to visit, and we like to make sure these cat stories are known so that we can learn from mistakes of the past. Yep, yeah, be kind or I will shut down this live feed. <laughs> and then you guys will miss Manny, our jaguar. <laughs> Baby girl. I didn't mean for you to come down. I don't have the food yet. I'm not feeding today. I'm, I am a keeper here. Oh, she's gonna do some landscaping too. So I am a keeper here, and um, but also a staff member. So when I'm a keeper, that's when I actually do the animal care. So they're used to me feeding them and giving enrichment and things like that. And so she's just waiting on the keepers this morning for food. But we feed once a day unless they require medication or other special needs. And we feed a variety. We thaw out hundreds of pounds of raw meat every day. It takes several hours to food prep. We have 60 cats on 67 acres. And a lot of them have special diets. I know, it's a landscaping kind of morning. Probably because there's no humidity. It's nice and cool today. Oh, we're going to mark that. But they get chicken and beef, and we have um, a carnivore diet called mush. It kind of looks like hamburger, but it's whole the whole animal ground up, so they get all of the roughage that they would get in the wild. Are you making biscuits? I've never seen Sundari biscuits before. No, we actually use a rather large company to deliver our meat. We don't do that whole getting expired food from grocery stores or roadkill or dumpster diving like a lot of unfortunate places do. These guys get really quality meat and it's all thanks to you guys. I mean, we have some of the most amazing supporters in the world. Your donations go straight to the cats because we are a nonprofit. So anything you donate, 100% goes to the cats. Are you making a stinky face too? Oh, we're getting so many Sundari things today. You must know it's because Lauren's here. Lauren B. is a staff member here, but she's also the coordinator on Wednesdays. And they have a very special bond. <laughs> You're just being silly. Oh, that's Nikita roaring. If somebody could give Trish the link for the Big Cat Times, that would be wonderful. <laughs> oh, Sundari biscuits. That's pretty silly, girly. So that is Armani that you just heard calling. Armani is also a golden leopard, also in her 20s. 
But that's the kind of noise that you're gonna get from the leopards and jaguars. Camille, which cat do I think has the strongest bond with me? Um, there's a few. I've been out here. Oh, there she is on top of her hill. Let's go see Armani real quick. What were you calling about? Um, I've been out here four and a half years now. Hi. Wow. Wow. What are you talking about? See, where's my breakfast? Or did you already eat? I think you already ate. I think you already ate. I'm pretty sure I saw Karma over here. Yeah, I would say Tiger Lily for sure. <laughs> She's a 24-year-old bobcat here. Wow. Smalls bobcat, definitely. Uh, Hutch the serval. Cyrus the caracal. <laughs> and Tiger-wise, I want to believe Kali. <laughs> um, but really, for some reason, the smaller cats just really seem to bond, so. Here she goes. Did you already eat breakfast? I can tell if her lockout's up. I thought I saw Karma come by. Yeah, you were the first one fed today, lady. <laughs> Natalia's already been fed, which means I won't be able... And then I have like kind of a weird bond with Mrs. Claus too. She's been my operant cat since she came out of the rehab program as not being able to be released. Oh, that's a pretty picture. Let's go back. And there are days where she ignores everybody and she'll come running out when I come by. But the cats definitely choose the people because I have fallen in love with several several cats that kind of could have cared less. <laughs> you just enjoying the sunshine right there? That's very pretty. I keep my own shadow out of it. She found the sunniest spot. The sunniest spot for Miss Armani. Hey, Vicki, I saw you were in town recently. <laughs> Lori, that's okay. We all make typos in these comments. Or my, my favorite is my autocorrect when I'm trying to help in the comments on lives. It'll be like bog cat rescue and <laughs> other ridiculous phrases. I've been having a really good time with the closed captioning on Facebook because as soon as we post a live video, um, the Facebook closed captioning will label everything that we've said and sometimes it is just absolutely hilarious, the words that, <laughs> that they translate us. Aren't you pretty girl? Here we go. This is Armani. She's the one that you heard sawing in the background when we were at Sundari. Yep, I get excited and start typing and then I just hit send and I'm like, oh no, it just, it just put the wrong word. The life of a leopard. She ate her breakfast. She did some calling, some sawing. She'll do some sunbathing and grooming and then she'll be asleep until this evening. Oh, where are we going now? On a mission. Of course, now I'm zoomed in. Hopefully it'll let me unzoom. There we go. Ooh. Oh. I'm sorry, Camille, if you don't like the quality of this. All I, all I can use is my iPhone 10. I do my best. Are we rubbing? Whoa, look at those pretty blue eyes. 
It's also like incredibly brightly lit over here. So my own shadow is in this too, which I don't love, but. <laughs> so all the cats have permanent enrichment in their enclosures, such as things like these dens and all of these awesome platforms that some of our volunteers, Jen and Darren, build over the weekends. Hello, Linda. If you are just joining, we've already seen Jinx and Sundari Leopards. We're here with Armani Leopard. I know. But you can always re-watch these. They post automatically on our page. And then they also go to dailybigcat.com. So pretty. Yeah, we're on 67 acres, and I actually turn my Wi-Fi off when I'm out here because it tries to jump from hotspot to hotspot, and that's when it cuts out and freezes and all that good stuff. And so I just turn it off and hope that my cellular service will carry us through. All right, sunshine girl. Let's go see what wild man's up to. It's Wednesday, so I always always tell Manny that's his day of the week, Wild Wednesday. Uh, yeah, I don't see Natalia out very clearly. Good morning, Edith. Thank you again to the three people that have donated and everybody who has shared this so far. I really appreciate that. So let's go see Mr. Manny. Unfortunately, every year's weather for the walkabout's a little different, but you're right, we had a tornado hit last year the night before, which was insane. <laughs> and, but it's usually, it might be a little chilly in the morning, like well enough for maybe like a hoodie, um, but by, you know, mid-morning, definitely into the afternoon, it gets very hot. So it looks like Kitten Karma is Feeding. Oh, hi, Mouser. Look how brave you're being. We saw Mouser yesterday on the live. So Manny's going to be pretty locked in on Karma training Bridget. Here's the man of the hour. Hi, sir. Now this is Manny, our jaguar. Are you showing your teeth? See where he's gonna go. Yep. Hi, mister. So you can see, since we just were at Sundari and Armani, who are leopards, that it's a pretty big difference when you see a jaguar. This is a male jaguar named Manny. can see his spots are significantly larger. He has um, spots within his spots. Isn't that right? Oh, Deb, you were in Facebook jail? I did not know that. So his favorite thing to do, he's currently in Funcation, which is a 22,000 square foot enclosure. He has all that space out there, all the way back to the fence line. But his favorite thing to do is stalk people through this den here. So he'll hide in there and then he'll pop out and run around the corner. Do you have Manny on your list? Do you have Manny on your list? Beth Ann has him. Okay. Yeah, 
Oh, yeah. So he's just wanting a second breakfast. <laughs> oh, did he tell you he didn't get breakfast? Uh-huh. Oh, okay. So Manny already got breakfast. That's too bad. He's gonna watch them with that cart though. Uh-huh, he's playing it up. Playing it up. See, those ladies might have something else. So again, thank you to everybody who's helping each other out in the comments. I really appreciate that. We, we definitely want to encourage newcomers. And sometimes they ask questions that kind of make your blood boil, but that's the ones that you want to reach out to. Those are the ones you want to help so that they understand the issues that surround big cats. <laughs> yep. hoping he would settle somewhere. I know. Uh, the temperature right now is awesome. It's uh, like 78, 79. Oh, buddy. Um, no, that's actually not Mouser talking. He did a little bit when I walked over and showed him and talked to him for a minute. It's actually Hutch. Hutch is very, very chatty. Mouser will usually talk to you when you talk to him first, but he won't just call out. Hutch will just yell at you until somebody comes over and says hi. So this is Manny Jaguar on Funcation. I hear you, Hutch. I feel like I show Hutch every day because he yells at me until I go over to talk to him. But yesterday we did see Hutch and we saw Mouser and we also saw all three cougar cubs because it was their 14th birthday. So today we've seen Jinx and Sundari and Armani and now we're here with Manny. Yep, I can't believe the walkabout is exactly a month away. If anyone can post the link to where you can buy tickets for that, we still have tickets available. Thank you, Deb, for posting that link. Yeah, one month away. Oh, so much to do. I'm sure it'll become real in our staff meeting today. <laughs> glad that you learned the difference between jaguars and leopards here at Big Cat. I feel like once you've seen Manny and how stocky and how just powerful and how big his like head and jaw is, the intensity of them, that it's kind of a no-brainer but I feel like everybody has that question in the beginning.
kind of nice to have a zen moment with Manny because normally he is just up stalking and pacing and oh yay Natalie I'm so excited I have so many new designs and I've been trying to not put them all up at bigcatrescue.biz at one time because it gets overwhelming and you'd never find what you're looking for um, so I'm trying to stagger it a little bit but we do have a new design for Filmo which is adorable and some updated designs for a lot of our little cats. So thank you guys again. Thanks so much for the donations and everybody who shared today. Everybody who kept the peace in the comments. Uh, Mary Lou, I got involved with Big Cat. Uh, it's kind of a long story, <laughs> but I have a bio page on our website and you can read the whole thing there. It's bigcatrescue.org slash Brittany hyphen Mira, and that's M-I-R-A. Um, that'll tell you my whole story, but essentially a really tragic situation occurred in Ohio near where my husband and I lived. And after that, it kind of woke us up to the major problem that affects these amazing, gorgeous animals in captivity. And we found Big Cat Rescue and decided we wanted to get involved, and we moved here and we got involved, so... guys can read actually about all of our staff if you go to bigcatrescue.org and you search for the staff members. We each have a bio page. All right, Mr. Man. I think today might be his last day out in Funcation, and I believe the plan is to bring him home tomorrow. And I'm sure if that's the case, we'll be here to follow him home. So thank you guys again. I hope you all have an awesome day. <laughs> all right guys and again if you came in late or at the end we had a fun live with Jinx. Sundari, Armani, and Manny. So you can start this over as soon as I hit finish. Or you can go to dailybigcat.com and you can watch all of them there. Alright guys, take care.